How to get Microsoft Word for free 2020 is the topic of today's video. This works on PC and Mac and it is completely legal. If you are new to the Tutorial Tucker channel, please go down below and subscribe for more awesome content like this. Please leave a like on this video and turn post notifications on so you are notified if I ever go and update this video. So in the video I am showing you how to get Word for free, it is so so easy and it is literally normal Microsoft Word and you also get access to other um, of the Microsoft 365 programs, some of them. I'm going to making a more in-depth video on this very very soon so yeah if you are new go subscribe and let's jump into this clip so as you can see we're now on the Microsoft website and as you can see Microsoft Word buy now try it for free and I've got a way to get this for free which obviously is why you're here so obviously you there is one way of doing it with this 365 subscription where you can pay monthly and you get access to the whole of office but there are other ways to get it for free and it's completely legal and Microsoft literally endorse it so what you want to do is open a brand new tab and come to Google like I already got here and all you want to do is simply search for Microsoft so Microsoft and then search and then come here and just go to Microsoft official homepage. The first thing you need to do is create an account. So to do that, come and click on sign in and then just go and click uh, no account, create one. And then all you need to do is enter your email. So I've got uh, a uh, email here, which I'll quickly enter now. And I've now entered my email, so I'll just go and click next. And then I need to go and create a password. So I'll quickly do that now and then click uh, next again. And then you just got to go through your whole name process. So I'll quickly do that now. And uh, yeah, just do this. So setting up this account is just necessary for it to work. So I'll go and enter my date of birth. So as you can see, now you need to go and do the verification. So I'm going to grab that and I'll come back once I've gone and got that. So I've now grabbed the code and just click next. And this should be the final step. Okay, now I've got to do a verification. So I'll quickly do that now. So V, 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 H, V, X, Y and then go and click next and uh, we'll just wait. So then all you gotta do is enter your phone number to verify it just to make sure you're a real person. I believe sometimes you don't get this and sometimes you do. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly verify my number and uh, then we can go and get into the next step. So I've now finished the verification and as you can see, I've now got this account. My name's Rob up here. Now what you wanna do is come over to Microsoft Office, click here and it will wait a minute to load. All you need to do is open up a new tab and go to Google once again. And then all you need to do is simply Google Microsoft Word Online. Okay, now this is an awesome a software, I guess, a sort of like an opportunity um, Microsoft have done. So then you click on that one here. I'll actually quickly show you again. I kind of skip that Office Live. I believe it's this one. Click on that. And then as you can see, we're here. You will need to sign in. And uh, as you can see, I've got my account here. And then all you can do is create blank document and it's literally normal word. It's a bit slower because it's online, um, but it's obviously word for free, right? And you've got all of this here. So I'll click um, new blank document and it's just loading. And then it's just going to run through how to set it up, I believe. Or sometimes it opens up the document straight away. Sometimes it takes a minute. As you can see, document two. And this is normal word. It takes a minute to load all the features in. And I think, I believe it actually saves it um, live to your, your OneDrive. So um, we can just test this out. So like, hello. YouTube and it's literally normal word but what the best bit is about this because I know like sometimes when you're especially at the minute with working from home and stuff you've got to um, deal with being sent all these you know um, word documents because a lot of you know um, institutions use them and yeah it's just such a pain because I know some softwares don't create the word documents and obviously um, you can go and change the font just like normal words uh, change the size of the font change the font it's literally just got all the standard fonts so you, you know Arial uh, comic Sans, all the all the plain ones. So then, yeah, that's the normal thing. Um, and you've got obviously insert. You've got the layout. So if you want to have a smaller margin, change the origin to landscape. All the plain old settings. You got even you know size. Literally normal words. So if you've ever used Word before, it is completely the same. And yeah, that's the main thing. So obviously you can go and enter all of this as well. Um, help. It's literally normal word. And I'll show you. You can actually go and use the other. So to go there, you click on App Launcher, and you've got all of these other Microsoft 365, which I'm going to go and cover in a whole video because obviously this is more just how to get Microsoft Word um, for free. But yeah, that's the main thing. And the best part is you can go and download it to your computer if you need to email it to other people. So to do that, we want to do do file, and then you can do save as, and you can um download a copy to your computer also you do need to save a copy so once you type that up make sure you just click save a copy to OneDrive so then it's going to quickly uh, load your um, I guess saving screen up and as you see I've got no files currently I can make say a new folder uh, so I go documents and I can go and click save 
and then it's going to save it there. So I could just do um, example, uh, click oh, if I can spell example, click save, and it's just saving it. And as you can see, that should change in a minute to oh, yeah, example um, dot doc x. So obviously that is the normal Microsoft Word um, file type, and uh, you can go and open those up, and you've got this premium here which is basically the full version of all the applications where you can use them offline, which I guess is the one negative. Obviously, you do need an internet connection to use them. But, it, you know, most people do have access to some sort of internet. It doesn't need to be very fast, as you can see, because it's just normal... Um, word but I've got another alternative I might quickly show you in a minute but as you can see obviously you can pay uh, for that which isn't necessary at all and to download it I'll quickly show you this as well so click save as and then you click download a copy to your computer um, but you can download it as a PDF so if I want a PDF you click on that and you click download and it should just come down here example.pdf and I can open that up and in Chrome and it's just normal right uh, normal PDF which I go and print out if I wanted to but if you are interested in like another software similar to this, uh, because obviously I did show you here, Go Premium, you do have a limited of five gigs, which should be enough. But say if it wasn't, I've got another awesome alternative to quickly show you. So what you need to do is come to Google and then you can simply search for Google Docs. Now Google Docs is literally a free version of Word. Obviously it's not Word, but it's very similar. You've got business and personal, just use personal, I believe. Uh, so click on that and uh, we'll wait for it to load. I may have to blur some stuff. So click things, you can come and click blank, but you've got res resume, letter, and you've got another um, a normal document. But what I do really like about, um, is that you've got all these awesome documents which have already given you a start to, to what you need to do. So for example, you've got your resume here, um, you've got letters, you've got project proposal, a brochure and report. So obviously resume is where you're trying to, um, for your job, trying to apply like a CV type thing. Letter, it gives you the whole setup of all the address and the correct location, just so it looks really, really professional when you do send it to, you know, your client or just your, your friend or family member. Project proposals, I guess is if you're trying to get a bit of funding for a project or something on the lines of that, that would just be really useful in general, right? And then you've got brochure. So I guess that's just if you're trying to make something for your business, whether it be, you know, trying to advertise something or just example pictures of what you can do and report, which I think is one of the most useful ones. It tells you, you know, it gives you a place where you can put images. So if you're trying to show, I guess you've proven you've done something. So, you know, you're reporting on a project you've done. Uh, that's really useful because it gives you the text boxes and it just gives you a rough idea and how to start something because I think that's sometimes the hardest thing trying to get your idea originally across um, and because sometimes you don't know where to start right so yeah this gives you a good head start and is that it saves it um, real time so I don't fully know about um, Google um, for a Microsoft Word if you have to like save it so if I say type something like hello YouTube this is a test it does save it real time but you actually have to name it so I'm pretty sure before I originally saved it it wasn't saving it real time but I'm not fully sure on that but what the best part about is with Google it literally saves it real time so say if I do um, hey YouTube again um, then I just do that it literally just saves it as I type so very very similar to Word um, it's just normal obviously it's a bit different like it's got different settings which I know a lot of people don't always fully adjust to like they really just like the um, the word sort of setup I guess and I know a lot of people will use that probably at schools and stuff like that which is why um, Google Docs is a bit different um, but obviously it is very similar at the end of the day you still got file um, edit view insert format tools add-ons but Microsoft Word is just as good and obviously both of these do need internet connection. Um, there probably are more alternatives which I may make a video on in the future where you don't need that internet connection. But that is the current sort of ways I found. I think this is a really good way to get it for free and uh, like I said Microsoft literally endorsed it. It's completely legal and uh, yeah I think it's really really good and you can go and change that out. I've literally shared everything. I think that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed videos just like this please go and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it took me a while to find actually. Like, I was just doing some research because I need to use Word um, because using Docs, I, just, I don't know, I just want to change it up from um, Docs really and see if there was an actual alternative for Word because what I do like about Word is I just know like all the margins and stuff. Um, so yeah, if you have found this video useful, please like the video, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. So much more content just like this coming every single week. I'm trying to upload daily, it's kind of dropped off a bit now, but yeah, please support the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.